Hey, what's happening? It's your boy R.L. Ingalls. Good morning. There are lots of reports on social media and in the news this morning talking about tornadic weather last night. A lot of it's still unconfirmed because most of the tornadoes were very weak. And there was also a very strong storm coming through with winds in excess of 70 miles an hour. So they're having a hard time determining whether or not the winds from the storm or tornadoes are responsible for some of the damage this morning. Regardless of what caused the chaos last night, my thoughts are with those who were affected. I'm noticing a lot of damage on my way home. Mailboxes blown over, trees blown over. Look how wicked the colors in the sky look right now. It's definitely been an interesting day. But the bad weather has moved on past us now, and other than that, there wasn't much to talk about today. So I thought I'd just give you a quick recap of what it's like to have had the iPhone 6 Plus for two weeks now. First, even though the phone has been out for two weeks now, I still get asked every time I pull it out if that's an iPhone 6 Plus. I feel like a celebrity walking around with this big old thing in my back pocket or in my hands. People are always asking me what's the difference between the 6 and the 6 Plus, so to clear that up, I just thought I'd share it with everyone. First, the 5.5 inch screen. Whereas the previous iPhones had a three and a half and four inch screen, the iPhone 6 comes in a 4.7 inch screen and the 6 Plus a 5.5 inch screen. Second, the camera. The camera on the back of the phone has an optical image stabilization. The lens actually moves around inside of the camera housing to make the image more stable and allow you to get crisper, clearer shots in low light environments. Three, many of the apps take advantage of the larger 5.5 inch screen real estate by allowing you to have a special horizontal view that only the iPhone 6 Plus has. For instance, the Messages app shows you a list of all the contacts you've been messaging on your left while on the right showing the selected person's message thread. Same thing with mail. You can see all of your emails on the left and when you tap on one, that message appears on the right hand side of the screen, much like mail works on the desktop. And lastly, four, the battery life. All that extra room inside the housing allows for a lot more battery to be packed inside the phone. And it does make a world of difference. I had a brand new battery put in my iPhone 5 just before I got the iPhone 6 Plus. So I know what a fresh, nice new battery feels like and how long it'll last. Granted, it was in the smaller 4-inch phone, but nonetheless, it should be about the same in the iPhone 6. With the iPhone 6 Plus, I've noticed tremendous battery life. Even with using both the forward and rear-facing cameras quite often to record my daily vlog and editing the vlog every day at the end of the day, I still have battery life to spare to export the file and upload it to YouTube before I plug my phone up for the night and go to bed. Speaking of a beautiful life being filmed and edited entirely on my iPhone 6 Plus, this phone has power for days, the 64 gigabyte version has memory for days, has screen for days, and I found that it's actually powerful enough and a big enough screen size that it's replaced my iPad mini for nearly every function. The convenience of the original iPhone is now being replaced with the iPhone 6 Plus actually being a preference. When the original iPhone came out, it was a convenience to have the internet in your pocket. As time has gone on, the iPhone has become less of just a convenience and more of the preferred method to view the web, check Facebook, email, but even more so now with a larger screen and more power, actually filming and editing videos to be posted on YouTube. I have two $1,000 cameras in my camera case with thousands of dollars worth of camera lenses and I'm shooting and editing this vlog on an iPhone. The iPhone isn't just a convenience anymore. It is now becoming the preferred method to do most daily tasks and replacing most people's tablets, laptops, desktops for everyday activities. So what do I think of the iPhone 6 Plus after having it and using it heavily for the last two weeks? I am extremely happy with my decision to go with the iPhone 6 Plus and would highly recommend it to anyone who's looking for a phone in this size range. Tomorrow is shaping up to be a much more exciting day, so you shouldn't have to listen to me ramble on about the iPhone. But before I bid you adieu, let's talk about today's song of the day. Every time there's stormy weather, I think of this song, and it may be a little morbid after the tornadoes that happened last night, but today's song of the day is Blown Away by Carrie Underwood. If you'd like to check out today's song of the day, you can go to play.spotify.com and sign into your Spotify account, if you don't have a Spotify account, you can sign up for one for free. And to check out Carrie Underwood's Blown Away and every other pick I've chosen for Song of the Day since the start of this vlog, go to bit.ly slash 
A-B-L-S-O-T-D. That stands for A Beautiful Life Song of the Day. And it's a playlist on Spotify that has each and every song I've chosen for Song of the Day. Now I'm going to go get some sleep and get well rested before tomorrow's events. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow.